David, the elephant in the room, everybody's wondering, why'd you leave Kitco? Yeah, um, it's kind of a thought I've had for a while and um, props to the Kitco team for giving me a fantastic learning opportunity. But I've been there for five years and I feel like it's just time to move on and try something new. I've, I've only ever had a, two jobs since college. So the first job at my macroeconomics research firm and then the second job at Kitco, both for about five years. And I feel like after five years, um, it's it's time to try something new. I want to expand my horizon in media and ultimately I want to be an entrepreneur and and work in fintech and launch my own products. But uh, for now, I want to just expand what I've been doing in media and uh, and and do my and do my own business there and expand from that, uh, building on the experiences I've had in both my previous jobs. And so uh, I've always been interested in in science and tech and finance. And so I want to just steer the conversation I'll have on my new channel in that direction um, and less about commodities, which I feel like I've covered extensively at Kitco and nobody in the field does it better than them. And uh, of course, that'll still be an asset I cover once in a while. But um, ultimately, I've left because I wanted to start my own venture. Is it true that... You know, they say you're not don't really get the money you want or move up in the job you want unless you leave because they just kind of take you for granted if you if you start there. Um, not in so many words, but would would you say that's true that um, that money was an issue? Money was not really an issue for me, and I and I and I I told um, I I told my former boss when I left, and you know they they were very generous. Uh, with me throughout my time there and they've been very good to me and I told him look money is not really the issue for me I'm not asking for a raise um, you know I'm being paid well here I'm just trying to I, I want to do something new with my life so even if you offer me a million dollars I'm probably still going to turn it down um, not that I hate the job but I just want to try a different lifestyle so um, you know it wasn't that I was underpaid and it wasn't that I was looking for more money I was just looking for a career change so it's more about the creative control and doing your own thing. Uh, yes, in a way. I mean, I did have creative control at Kitco. I, I, there was nobody standing over my shoulder asking me to do things. I mean, once in a while I was given guidance by, you know, my colleagues, but uh, for the most part, I was able to do what I wanted. So um, there was an aspect of creative control uh, of creative control while I was there. But yeah, I definitely have, will have more of that on my own. And that's something that I, I think appeals to everybody. I mean, you guys, especially you've started it from the ground up by yourselves and you've had ultimate creative control over your career and you know exactly what that's like. A hundred percent. And we love it. And I do also want to say that we got a chance to hang out with one of your producers, uh, John and, you know, some of the Kitco team and we, we love Kitco. John's an, John's awesome. Um, hopefully we see him again in Dubai. Um, yeah, for sure. What is your channel though? And I'll link um, it down below. It's going to be uh, it's going to be called the David Lynn Report. I'm going to be covering economics, finance, crypto, fintech, science, um, a little bit of poli sci, and every once in a while I have a celebrity on the show. It's building on my passions in in finance and economics, and my goal here is to democratize financial literacy and provide the audience access to some of the world's foremost experts in their respective fields, whether it be science, technology, finance, or economics. And the idea is, is to have, or to give the audience a chance to gain an insight on what's happening today and what they should know from an investor's perspective. And basically I thought to myself, how can I, how can I give the education that I've had in college and then later in my career, basically for free, to the world and i think that's kind of the ethos of any journalist and that's basically what we've been doing at kitco and i think kitco has done a fantastic job and i kind of just want to extend that and and do my own thing with it to watch the full conversation there's a link down below in the video description and if you're interested in learning more about cryptocurrency click subscribe right now we drop a video every single day you do not want to miss one see you tomorrow